What's up guys, it's Brian here. Uh, and today, we're going to be doing a video. We're gonna put this new RAM inside a 2012 uh, MacBook Pro. This project should take you about uh, 10, 10 minutes. All right, so for this project, all you're gonna need is your MacBook Pro, uh, your new RAM, and then you're gonna want some type of screwdriver set um, that's really small so you can get the screws off on the back of this. So we'll get started. First, you're just gonna wanna unplug your Mac. You're gonna wanna close all your apps and completely shut it down. So just click shut down. And we'll let that turn all the way off. Once your computer's all the way shut off, you can go ahead and close it and flip it over to the back. All right, next what we're gonna do is re uh, remove these 10 screws around the outside of the shell. We are gonna remove these top right ones first uh, because they are a little bit longer and it's recommended to do those first. What we're gonna need is one of our micro screwdrivers. This is what type of screwdriver we're using. Uh, it is a Phillips head. And we'll get started with the uh, top right screws. Now as you can see, we have three long screws from these top right holes, the top three right holes. Um, and then we have seven small screws for the remainder of the holes. And you're just gonna wanna get a plastic bag or something to store them all in while we uh, replace the RAM. All right, now we're just gonna pop this lid off. and we can put this aside. And now we can see all the components of our MacBook. Cool. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is um, unplug the battery, which is right here. Just like that. Just gonna pop that right up and off. So that we don't have any power going to it while we replace the RAM. Now if you move over just a few inches, You'll see right there is your sticks of RAM. At this point, we can now get our new sticks of RAM. Go ahead and open them. I personally got the uh, OWC Performance Memory. All right, now let's remove our old RAM. To do this, you're just gonna push to the sides of these little tabs, and the first stick should just pop right out. Slide out just like so. Now you're gonna do that once again. Just push to the side, and it'll pop up. There we go. And just pull straight out. Now we're gonna get our new sticks of RAM. And as you can see on the RAM port, there's a little divot right there in the middle. You wanna make sure that lines up with your RAM stick. So it's gonna go in just like that. And we're just going to go in the reverse. There we go. You're just going to slide it in. Make sure it's in there all the way. And then you can push this down until it pops. It's nice and snug. Now grab your second stick and do the exact same thing. All right, once we've inserted both of our new RAM chips, you can then re-plug in the battery and put the shell back on. It slides in like that. Place around top like that. And then go ahead and screw your screws back in. When you go to screw these back in, um, I like to set all three of the big ones in the hole already. You're gonna to wanna to start with these three long screws. Just make sure not to over tighten it because these are small screws. Uh, you don't wanna strip them. Now you can go ahead and put the rest of the seven small screws on. Once all the screws are in place, 
Go ahead and flip your Mac back over and let's see how it runs. And as you can see, the computer is up and running. What I'm going to do is just go to my activity monitor real quick. Under memory, if you look down at the bottom, now you can see I have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Alright guys, well that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you learned something, feel free to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.